if you received a notification that some of your content or web pages or sections of your site are in violation of Google's Terms of Service, then we need to exclude those pages from serving Google Ads. In which case, you would want to create a key value pair on Google Ad Manager and we will have a separate header tag for those pages in order for us to exclude Google from serving there. So here's one example of a header tag from Monetize More. And if you notice, we have the key value pair there, Google equals no. You can always set your own custom uh, key and value. It's really up to you. Now what we need to do is target this to specific sections of the site while we keep the rest of the pages that do not violate policies as normal, meaning Google can continue to serve on them. So in this case, we will be targeting this to the pages with violation. So let's pretend that this is your site. And let's say, for example, you have these two right here that have violation. So we're going to go ahead and open them, grab a notepad, and we'll grab the URL right there. Do not include your root domain. Copy that, paste that in the notepad, and add a star. Grab the other URL. Again, grab whatever is after the root domain. Grab this one, paste, and add a star again. So we have these two sections or pages of the site where we don't want Google Ads to serve. So now we go ahead and copy them. And if you notice, it's one per line. So for this header tag with KVP, you go ahead and make sure you have a hook first. If you don't have that yet, you go ahead and click on the Add Inserter General Settings. Go to Hooks and create a hook that says WP underscore head for the action. And you can give it any name you want and make sure it's checked to have it enabled. Then click on Save Settings. Once that's done, you go ahead and select it here for the insertion. This is our WP underscore head hook earlier. Click on Lists. Click on URLs. And paste all the URLs that you would like this header tag to target and then you need to select whitelist. So if you notice, I entered it here one per line and it automatically filled in this field right here separated by a comma. So that's all you need to do. Make sure it's whitelisted and then make sure you also tick the right category in here, whichever section they fall under. So if, it's, if they are part of your homepage, category pages, just go ahead and enable. So once they are whitelisted, they are the only sections or pages that will be targeted by this header tag and because we have the insertion on that header hook that we created. Then once that's done, you go ahead and save it. If you have a header tag that's targeting all the sections of your site, then you need to make sure that it's also using the hook for the header in your auto insertion in here. And then you go to list and still the same, you go to URLs, Paste the URLs where you don't want Google to run, and then make sure it's on blacklist. Okay, so this is the regular header tag for the rest of the pages with no violation. And we want to exclude that header from these pages with violation, so we need to make sure it's blacklisted from that. And then for that, let's go back to the one with a KVP. So this is for the ones with violation. And again, if you notice, we had it whitelisted. Once you're done, just click on Save. So what this means is you cannot use the universal header space in here because this applies to the entire site, right? You cannot exclude certain pages in here. So all you need to do is create the hook for the header. And once you have that saved, you can go ahead and choose that in the insertion and then whitelist or blacklist specific URLs in here like I showed you guys. Now in order to double check, 
you go to that site or page, view page source, search for M2D, and you notice we now have that header tag with a KVP in there. And this is the page where we don't want Google to run. On your Google Ad Manager account, make sure you have that key value pair under Inventory Key Values. And if you notice, we have the key and the value in here. And it has to match exactly what you have in your header tag. Next, you need to open each of your AdSense or Google Ad Exchange line item. And make sure on your targeting, under Custom Targeting, select Google. And it should say, is none of no. This means this line item is not eligible to serve where this key and this value exist. And you'll have to do that on every single line item you have from Google to make sure that they don't serve on pages with violation. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.